I never thought at 73 I would be going through you know, making these kinds of choices. Choices like not driving, limiting presents for her grandkids, and buying generic. I've been here all my life. Um, I'm on my way to work now. That trip, one thing she has to include in her budgeting that she does monthly, weekly, even daily. Monthly, I sit and I write down what I'll be making this month and what money would go through for rent, gas, food. We have a funeral coming up. I have to help with that. So it's just budgeting all the way around. Every time PJ McNall starts up his truck, the maker of Zab's hot sauce is burning more money than ever before. How much do you usually spend a week for gas? Um, well, normally it costs about $140 to fill up the tank. And that's every probably four days. It's painful. And it's almost double what he paid at the start of the pandemic. If you've been looking for a video that has all the up-to-date information concerning stimulus checks and which states are sending them out, then you've come to the right video because we talk about politics, things that are happening in this country, and we do a ton of giveaways. Stay tuned because you don't want to miss. Hey, what is up YouTube? I apologize in advance. We're kind of going through a uh, big old tsunami, hurricane, whatever you want to call it, storm outside. So you may hear a little bit of thunder and rain, but we had to bring you the most up-to-date news on states that are sending out stimulus checks. Many of you guys have been asking for that updated information. And yes, we have that just come out today. So it's our job to keep you guys updated. On this channel, we do a ton of giveaways. We're doing a huge $250 giveaway for two lucky subscribers. That information is down below in the comments, but wait, there's more. You can jump in on the $100 Visa gift card and all you have to do is smash that like button and comment the word Visa gift card for your chance to win. We just did our last giveaway, so that means someone else gets to win the prize. Guys, we got so many things going on in our country. Inflation is not a secret, it's happening everywhere, and yet, People who are retired are forced to come back out of retirement and go back into the work field. Now, believe it or not, that's not how it should be. In fact, those that are retiring should be able to enjoy the rest of their days, the rest of their life, having a great time in paradise. And that's what we would think and we wish we could think. But yet again, it doesn't matter how old you are from the youngest to the oldest. Everyone seems to be dealing with inflation and it's taking a toll on your average American. Hey, I'm just like you and I'm an average Joe working hard, doing the best I can to provide for my family. But things in this country haven't made it easy. And for one individual, Literally, they're suffering and I hate it for her. She literally had to come out of retirement. They threw a party celebration just so that she could enjoy leaving the work field that she's worked for years upon years and having to go get another job. My heart goes out to them just because, you know, it's, it's sad to think that they would have to get out of retirement to go work just to survive. But guys, I've got some reality videos, things that will update you and I on what's happening in this country. So let's take a watch and see what is going on. Today for the 13th day in a row, the price of gas in America hit an all time high. Nationally, it's averaging nearly $5 a gallon, but in 20 states and here in Washington, D.C., it's at or above that price. Well, tonight, CBS's Carter Evans shows us how this is fueling financial stress. Every time PJ McNall starts up his truck, the maker of Zab's hot sauce is burning more money than ever before. How much do you usually spend a week for gas? Um, well, normally it costs about $140 to fill up the tank. And that's every probably four days. It's painful. And it's almost double what he paid at the start of the pandemic. As a small business owner, McNall still makes all the deliveries himself, 60 miles a day. High gas prices, inflation, it has real implications for you. Yeah, it does. And it you know prevents us from expanding our team and giving jobs to, to other people. It means more work for me. Americans now spending $700 million more every day on gasoline than they did just a year ago. Energy analyst Patrick DeHaan says GasBuddy.com's live data shows the national average for gas actually hit the $5 mark this morning, and he expects it to keep rising. 
we could see gas prices eclipse six dollars a gallon should there be any disruption such as a hurricane or a refinery outage there's basically no margin for error this summer with people back on the road returning to work and taking vacations even with these prices demand is at its highest point this year with americans now guzzling 9.2 million barrels of gasoline every day i don't have a choice whether it costs $80 or $150, it is what it is, and I have to absorb it or, or the business will die. They're not just numbers on the screen or at the grocery store. For many, the higher prices means even having to think about how much they can spend on food for themselves and their families. Today, I have to think about, well, oh, my lunch. You know, I only could eat so, eat so, spend so much for my lunch. I only could do so much, leave so much at home for my daughter to eat. These are numbers people have never seen. At some gas stations, it's north of $7 a gallon. Tashana says she's had to explain to her nine-year-old daughter why they can't take their trips to Target like they used to. I have to write it out and show her in big charts. Like, look, gas, you know how we spend money on gas? Look at this is money gone gas. I know we have to take it from some of the toys. Yeah, she also told me she had to stop taking her nine-year-old daughter to her self-defense classes to save money. Signature select, and it's perfectly fine. Let's do the math. Even with an $80 increase in Social Security from the cost of living adjustment, Suzanne takes home about $1,800, $1,100 from retirement, totaling $2,900 a month. Her rent alone is $2,330, leaving her with less than $600 a month. The money's going to run out at this point because I've got to dip into it to the tune of about seven, eight hundred dollars a month. That's forced Suzanne back into the classroom, proctoring AP exams, and she's not alone. As of March, the U.S. labor force participation rate for those 65 and older was 19.1 percent, up slightly from 18.8 percent last year, but down from 19.7 percent in 2020. So we're seeing baby boomer generation um, participating more, you know, delaying retirement. Washington State labor economist Annalise Van Sherman says it's hard to blame this trend entirely on inflation with so many unknowns from the pandemic. You know, we're beginning to see people come back in. How much of that is because of inflation and how much of that is because the uncertainty and threat of the pandemic has passed? Now, if you're a retiree looking to get back into the game, there is some good news. I spoke to a staffing specialist here in Seattle. He says the job market is strong. His advice is to be selective and to start with something you enjoy doing. So, guys, doesn't that just break your heart? Doesn't that just make you wish that things were better? I certainly do. I wish that things didn't cost so much, but yet again, we're having to pay the price. I understand what's happening in Ukraine, but what does that have to do with us here in the United States? I just hope that they get their things together because we need help. So why is Nancy Pelosi going to China? Did you see the article that literally said that there will be serious consequences if she goes to Taiwan? Like, what is going on here? Why is she going? Literally, we have so much work to do here in the United States. Why is she going over there? It may be just me. I might be the only one thinking crazy, but yet again, doesn't make sense. And of course, Mr. Joe Biden is taking huge credit because he said that gases went down over 60 cents in the last 38 days, which is phenomenal because like me who puts, you know, has a truck with a huge tank putting 90, 100 bucks in the gas tank each week when it goes down to $70, man, I'm super excited because that means more for my daily budget. That means I'll have a letter extra change at the end of the week and that adds up over the month so i'm thankful for that but is it really joe biden or is he doing this for the midterm elections guys let me know what you think about it in the comments below but now the information that you have been waiting for the states that are sending out stimulus checks and i've got to say this so number one texas is not doing anything guys i have researched and researched and researched and nothing can't find anything Louisiana, not doing anything. Utah, can't find anything. North Carolina was on the list, but here recently, 
I haven't seen them anywhere and they've kind of jumped off the list and this has happened when states are trying to figure out the right amount of money to send to their residents but just coming out today boom yes this amount of time ago today this information came out so you know i had to bring you the most up-to-date news and i'm not just going to tell you i'm going to show you right here on the screen stimulus check update these states are sending inflation relief payments and this was published five hours ago guys so this is the most updated information high inflation prompts states to offer rebates with california they're literally giving out as much as one thousand and fifty dollars per household so they're kind of leading the way when it comes to these checks so let's talk about colorado so residents who filed their 20, 2021 tax return by june 30th will receive a check for $750 by September. It's amazing that they provided a date. So you have Delaware that if you filed your 2020 state tax return, that you could receive a payment of $300 earlier this year. Florida, we know that DeSantis sent out $450 per child to lower income families. I get it, it's not every resident, but it does help and I wish that they would do a little more. Hate to say it, but it's not covering everybody. Georgia, single fathers of 250, head of the household 375, and married $500, but you had to file your 2020, 2021 tax returns. And then they'll tell you if you're eligible, the state was able to approve, approve the rebates thanks to this historic budget surplus, but what date is they sending it? And I found out that they're doing it in August. Hawaii has approved to send out $300 to their residents who have earned a hundred and thousand less in 2021 idaho is giving out 75 dollars to each taxpayer and they're trying to base that upon their 2020 state income tax and then you can check because some people haven't got it some people have but let us know down in the comments if you have so now illinois has approved the 1.83 billion relief package earlier this year but guess what guys it's only around 50 dollars for the uh for those who are single and couples would be getting a hundred indiana the state is giving 125 to all residents regardless of income thanks to indiana's automatic taxpayer refund he's also calling out to send 225 dollars which would be amazing maine is sending out their 850 dollars per person couples can get 1700 not everybody has received this but they are still sending out the checks minnesota is kind of one of the same thing like florida they're only sending it to certain people and uh, those are the frontline workers that they could receive $750. I'm not saying they don't deserve it, but I'm saying that everybody deserves to get some additional help. The application for this period closed on July 22nd. So if you haven't done it, then you kind of miss your chance. I'm sorry. New Mexico, we know that they're sending out $250 and $500 checks. They were sent out in June, but they're also sending some more out in August. Pennsylvania, one that's been highly asked and requested, they're sending out $650 and some homeowners can qualify for $975. No date is yet given, but the application has to be filled out before December 31st of this year. South Carolina, they're trying to get their taxpayers who qualify up to $800 and yet the details are still kind of up in the air because this was released last year and nothing has been done but it's still in the works. Virginia trying to get their people to 50 for singles, 500 for couples and if you but you got to file your taxes before November 1st and they're trying to get things out prior to those who have done it before have already got their taxes done by august 15th now this isn't saying that i don't i'm not glad that these states are doing it i'm glad that everybody in these states are getting some type of relief i just wish states like texas louisiana utah those in uh michigan those in what was the other state it was uh hmm what others alabama there you go Alabama, many people are just requesting help from the states saying, I wish that our state would do something. And yet again, here we find some more information updated without their state on it. North Carolina, I wish I could say that they were sending out stimulus checks, but yet again, they're not doing anything. 
This, while I was reading this and going through this information, you may feel the same. How in the world can we send $40 billion in money of objects, materials, you name it, it costs $40 billion. That was the bill. And some of these states are barely doing like a billion dollars for the residents and not really being able to help everybody. Can you imagine how much $40 billion dispersed between the states would have helped? Can you imagine all that, that money that they sent to Ukraine? And I get it. They needed help. And I get it. There were so many people in, in hard times and having to start trying to survive and they're getting attacked. And yet again, Americans having to suffer. So guys, let me know down in the comments below if this video helped. Smash that like button because we're doing a ton of giveaways and bringing you the most up-to-date information. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And guys, be safe. Have a great day. I love you. I'm John Miro. Peace.